Hey everybody, it's Cole with BarbedWireDigital8.com Trying out my new selfie stick that I got. It's my first time using a selfie stick. Just wanted to talk about some crypto stuff. I haven't been very good about hopping on the responses on the comments. So I just wanted to respond to some of the comments. I really appreciate everybody watching the channel. You know, share it as much as you can. What I'm trying to do with my channel is help people generate wealth and get themselves in a position where they're not relying upon a boss or a job or anything like that. So I'm getting ready to turn 46. It's, uh, you know, when I was young, I had a motorcycle when I was three years old and the internet didn't exist. So the internet came in when I started college in 1992 at Denison University. I was in the chemistry, I was in the pre-med, and I ended up getting a chemistry BS. But my college roommate, my freshman year, he built computers in high school, and that was back when we had America Online and stuff like that. So I grew up with computers. I grew up with, uh, you know, the internet for, you know, when there's dial-up. They used to have 14.4 modems. I don't even know if most people even know what those are. Anyway, here's what I want to talk about. There is a lot of money to be made in crypto. And the government and all the people that take advantage of citizens know that it's a very good area for people to be able to free themselves financially and become sovereign. What do I mean by that? So think of it like this. The entire world economy right now, which I have no idea how big that is, but just to let you know that the budget in the United States is something like $300 trillion, whatever. This is a ridiculous amount of money. They won't tell anybody how much they collect in taxes every year because if people actually knew that, <laughs> they would probably not pay another dollar in taxes the rest of their life. So anyway, figure that the entire world runs on the banking system, the world banks, the federal reserves and all this stuff, which, you know, money is, is fake. There actually was a gentleman who fought JP Morgan Chase back in the fifties and they tried to repo his house. Well, his contention in court was, you know, you gave me a loan to get this house, but where'd you get the money to give me the loan? And they said, well, what we do is we run your credit and this and that, and then if we decide that we want to give you a loan, we just create an account on our computer, type in $100,000, and then we say that you got $100,000 and it just transfers on a computer. So let's revisit that. They go in, check your credit, create an account, put a one with five zeros behind it for a hundred grand and they create the money out of thin air. If you haven't watched it, watch the movie, the zeitgeist. The zeitgeist movie is about how they print money. And when they need money, they just send an email probably over to the federal reserve and they print it out and they say, well, you know, if we print a trillion dollars out, then in order for us to be paid for that, you us, let's say 1.1 trillion back, which means every time a dollar is printed, you have to pay more back to the company that printed it than the money they gave you. So money is inherently debt. You can't get around it. The way the structure is, and it, it's all BS, man. Money's just paper. It used to be, they used to back it with gold. So at any point you could go in and, you know, say, hey, I want to trade in these paper bills for X amount of gold, you know, an ounce or, you know, whatever the exchange rate was on it. So without getting too far digressed, what crypto does, the biggest thing about crypto is that it's decentralized. What does that mean? Decentralization means this. The money and the ledgers that keep track of all the transactions and all that stuff, 
they're maintained over thousands of different computers, which means if anybody hacked one of those computers, it wouldn't matter because there's thousands of other computers that have backup copies of that. You can't hack them all. So because it's not centralized, you can't have one single entity controlling all the power, which gives power to the people. I mean, it's basically, you know, the democracy thing. And it, whether you know it or not, all but one of our presidents in the United States are all related to the same great granddaddy, some prince of England. So, you know, here's the thing. All the presidents are picked. Everybody thinks they're voting for someone. The younger people are more open to this. People my age and older, they don't buy it. But do the research. You know, I don't tell anybody to believe anything that I say. I expect people to believe things that, you know, they can go research on their own. So I'm telling you to go research this stuff. I started this channel because I spent eight years in a bed getting four spine surgeries. My dad and people on that side of the family have told my kids that they thought that I faked the injury. You know, ridiculous stuff. I had two surgeries while I was awake. I have six screws and two rods in my spine. They took away my disability because I became homeless and I had to get a job otherwise I was going to starve to death because disability doesn't pay enough. So I don't have any love for this system. This channel is all about helping you guys get where you need to go because trust me you don't want to be homeless, you don't want to be eight years in a bed, you know. I mean I was in a bed for eight years. I do this channel because I believe every person has the right to be sovereign and free and to do what they want. I don't care what race you are or whether you're a man or woman or what your sexual preference is or how much money you make or any of that garbage. Everybody deserves to have access to a life that they design. And that's what all my hermetic principles and all the other stuff is about. Mindset bends reality. So the mindset stuff may not seem like it relates to crypto. Trust me, it does because you literally can jump dimensions and timelines and end up having huge gains financially, uh, relationship-wise, uh, change your entire health, all those kinds of things. What I've seen is, is I actually was replying to one of my uh, YouTube comments just a little while ago, and she was saying that she lived in Hawaii and that she wasn't allowed to buy crypto over there. They recently got rid of the ability to have buy, people open Binance accounts from the U.S. That's all because people were making too much money. You know, they, they say it's all it's, it's about the taxes or it's about fraud. You know what? No. No. The, the fraud's in all the people selling all the garbage online that you don't need. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of crypto stuff. And I've lost my fair share of money in crypto stuff. I had an investment firm that I gave 500 bucks to, and, you know, they just came up with story after story after story, and I had a good friend of mine that lost a nice chunk of money too, which is why I created, you know, the video on Signaly and some of the other crypto stuff, because I just had to go learn it. You know, I had to read books for two years. I took my computer knowledge and all that. So this lady that gave a comment, and she's not able to buy on Coinbase in Hawaii, here's a couple solutions for that. Number one, most exchanges will allow you to buy crypto now. You do not have to buy it at Coinbase. Coinbase is just the most popular and people are familiar with it. You can go to KuCoin, K-U-C-O-I-N dot com. Uh, another one's Polinex. I, I don't know how to spell that. Binance.us, they opened a US version. If you already had an account open, and the problem is, is they're having you verify your address with uh, your driver's license and some other stuff like that. So, I mean, there's a workaround for it. I use a VPN service, which is a virtual private network. Basically, just think of it like this. It would be like, virtual private network would be like, if you lived in the US, and you had a friend that lived in Switzerland. You could call your friend in Switzerland who then, you know, decided to get a three-way call and called somebody in Germany. Well, the German person would think that you're from Switzerland because you're bouncing through the Swiss person. 
That's what a VPN does. So you can, I use NordVPN, N-O-R-D VPN. I think it's about $10 a month or you can get a whole year for like 89 bucks. I do it by the month. I do it by the month because everything on the internet changes so fast. Trust me, you don't really want to buy too many things where you own a year because, you know, three months from now, if there's some other way or some other service they come up with, you're going to be like, well, I've already paid for this one for a whole year. So anyway, my subscriber that asked that, that's what I would do. I would buy crypto through one of the exchanges. Now, the bots and everything are great. Uh, I also wanted to let you know that Forex trading is also something that's very viable. That stands for foreign exchange. All it is, I go to Canada, I want to spend Canadian money, I have to have it exchanged. So I can either do it at a bank locally and they charge me a fee, or you know, you can do it at the border, they charge you a fee there. So I give them a hundred bucks, they give me, you know, $115 Canadian back. There's an exchange rate. It's the percentage difference between the money you give and the money you receive back in whatever currency of the country that you're getting ready to enter. Foreign exchange or Forex markets, they encompass the entire world economy because every single country has a currency. And every one of those countries does some sort of trading with other countries. So the crypto market is basically going to become the new Forex market. But I'm going to do some Forex trading on my own and I'll bring you guys into the fold on that because it's a little bit more stable and I believe right now it has such a large volume compared to the crypto. Even though crypto is big, it's not accepted you know, because it hasn't been around as long. And you don't have to have a bunch of money to get into the Forex stuff. Now, a couple other points because this video is getting long already. Number one, turn off all the social media. You know, unless you have to do it for your job, you know, or definitely subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any questions, ask me. You know, I'll tell you exactly what I know. I've been around a lot of, a lot of people. I uh, did a lot of traveling when I was younger before I got hurt. Um, I died twice, had two near-death experiences, done a lot of research, and I'm currently getting a PhD in divinity from the University of Sedona, uh, University of Metaphysics out there. And I plan on using all those teachings to help people to redesign their mind so that the reality around them will reorganize and they can create the life that they desire. There's no reason that people shouldn't have what they want. And everybody's convinced that life is hard because that's what we've been trained. Because in the old days, that's the way it was. So buy your crypto through the exchanges if you need to. If nothing else, if you're too busy or you just don't want to learn all the junk, here's what I would do. You know, stay with the channel. I'll let you guys know do a little research on your own but if you just look at some popular some places that you can check out coindesk.com is a great place to go if you see them have some articles on there about some coins you can be sure that it's going to be legit you know you're more than welcome to shoot me an email or text me or hit me up on facebook uh, my website's barbwiredigital8.com and my email is cole at barbwiredigital8.com. Here's what I would do. I would take the top 30 coins that you knew were legitimate. You know, you went and checked them out. I'll give you a couple resources to think about. The coin has to provide a service. So see what the coin does does it do something that people need you know like uh, they can attach coins now to real estate so it's actually backed by something you know they can take other coins and they can attach your health records to them another great idea number two does it have a large following do they have a website do they have a presence in social media is there a lot of engagement and does it happen on a daily basis another thing to check out Third thing, don't mess around with anything that's under about, I would say maybe 100,000 would be 
pushing it, maybe a half a million in volume on trades. Buy the altcoins. You can get altcoins, some of them, as they make new ones, for 15 cents a coin, really, really cheap. Some of those in five years are going to be worth hundreds of dollars. What's that mean to you? It means you could buy $20 of, let's say, 10 different coins. You blow $200. Of those 10 or 20 coins, let's say 18 of them, they just disappear. You know, they don't work out. The company collapses, whatever you, you know, think. There's going to be two or three of those where you own 100 or so of those coins. Just think, if you own 100 of those coins and all of a sudden those coins become $5,000 similar to Bitcoin and Bitcoin's at hundred grand, and you own a hundred of them and they're 5,000 each, guess what? You're sitting on half a million. And you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to learn anything about crypto. You didn't have to learn about trading with bots. You didn't have to follow the mark. You didn't have to do anything of that. They call it the HODL. It's a hold on DL. I don't know what that means, delayed something. But anyway, it's basically buying and holding it. I had a, a person that I was working with that uh, one of her best friends bought, I think it was a few hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin back in 2009 or 10 for, you know, it was a few cents a coin. And they sold in 2017 when it was like 20,000 or 21,000. And he was a millionaire in 10 years, which, I mean, honestly, if I could spend, you know, $50 in 10 years, have a couple million dollars, that's a pretty good investment. That didn't exist, uh, you know, when I was younger. So, VPN, if you need to, you know, mask your location so that you can use other trading sources or Coinbase or stuff like that, uh, buy and hold them. I'll let you know about the Forex. And then what I'm getting ready to make a video on is there is a company that I'm interested in that I've been involved in, and it's called Up to Give, and they have webinars many 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 times a week i think every day maybe twice a day some of the times it is a company based on the idea of pay it forward it's a philanthropy company philanthropy being what is in the best interest of the human race kind of idea which i like number two it's all the transactions are done in the blockchain and it's peer-to-peer -peer, like the days of napster in other words any of the money moving around goes from one individual to the other individual outside of the company. So there's no way for them to even touch your money if they could. It's run by several guys, one of them which has, uh, I think, nine PhDs in different religions and spiritual modalities. I've been following them for about three months. I've been in the company three months. The other couple things that are great about the Up to Give is they have a cryptocurrency debit card so you can actually have your crypto in a crypto account and you get like a visa check card or a debit card that you know like you would get at your bank account only this is hooked to your crypto so you literally can spend money just like a regular bank account but it's in the crypto market, which means you don't have to deal with the Federal Reserve. You don't have to deal with overdraft fees. You don't have to deal with them asking you, hey, you know, why are you sending this much money? Or there's a four day delay before we can get the money to your family. You know, all the garbage you got to deal with. Last year, the U.S. banks made something like three point two billion dollars in the United States off of overdraft fees. Three billion dollars off the poorest people in the United States. I'm sorry, that is disgusting. Those banks that are charging $30 for a transaction that they can't run, which means they literally did nothing except charge you $30 because their computer kicked out a transaction because you didn't have a balance. It's robbery. I don't give a shit who says what about anything. If you don't do something and you're charging somebody $30, that's theft. You're just taking thirty dollars out of somebody's wallet. That's ridiculous. You know, we're all supposed to be helping each other out on this planet. So, and last but not least, they have a complete educational program. What I mean by that, they basically are going to teach you to do any job remotely that you want to do, as long as you have an internet connection. So, 
if you would like to work from home, develop a skill where you can freelance or work for a company or whatever, and you have a phone or a laptop or an access to the internet, they have a whole educational platform. So basically, when you join up to give, you get the peer-to-peer -peer transfer of the Bitcoin, the philanthropy. You get the educational uh, system that they have. You can get the cryptocurrency Visa card, so you can spend your crypto directly without having to convert it into fiat currency. Fiat, F-I-A-T, it's just a fancy word for your local currency. Fiat currency in the U.S. is the U.S. dollar. Fiat currency in Mexico is the peso. It's just a word they use for your local currency. And there is one more thing. Uh, slip my mind for a moment. The cause. They allow you to develop. All you have to do is write, I don't know, two or three paragraphs and create your own cause. There isn't anybody this program can't help because everybody knows at least one person and most people know at least five people that could use some sort of help financially, whether they have bad health or an injured kid or a death in the family and that person was their main breadwinner, et cetera, et cetera. And I did mine for veterans. I actually have two one for veterans and the other one I'm going to set up is for uh, single parents. You know, I was in a situation where because I had all these surgeries on my spine, every time I went to court, every time I had a surgery, my kid's mom would take me to court. And after the fourth one, they wouldn't give me an extension and my doctors wouldn't let me go to court they said to the court they wrote letters they said look this guy can't go to court six days after he had six screws put in his back you're gonna have to give him an extension my kids had lived with me for 12 years they went to school they lived with me and they they took my kids away from me they, they didn't care about my kids best interest or any of that stuff um, my kids tried to leave with me and the police told my kids that if they went with me they were gonna throw me in jail this is what they told my kids who were 14 and 11 so the whole purpose of setting up a cause, you know, mine's set up so that people can't get custody of kids just because they have more money. Kids need a parent that's stable. Kids need a parent that wants to be a parent. You know, I was a great dad. I'm still a great dad. And the fact that my kids were taken away because I had a physical injury, just it should never happen. So that cause and and the one of my uncle. My uncle was a Vietnam vet. He used to have to kick his own men off the landing gear of the helicopter because it would only hold nine people, I believe. And when everybody knew they were gonna die because they couldn't wait for the next chopper to land because they were getting chased. If you put too many people on the helicopter, it won't lift off the ground. So everybody dies. So it's either nine people live or nobody lives. So when I was a kid and I used to hang around at his Harley Davidson shop all the time, I asked him and he said, you know, and he goes, I, I had to kick him off the landing gear. And then when they were out of bullets, he goes, I would watch the Viet Cong stab them to death with bayonets because they, they wanted to conserve the ammo. They didn't want to waste bullets. So they just used the bayonets to kill all of his friends that he personally kicked off the landing gear of the helicopter. He never recovered from that. And he took his own life in 2010 with a 357 put in his mouth, shot himself, and it became international news because he had 63 lions, tigers, bears on his property that he let loose, that he didn't really let loose. But anyway, that's another story that I'll get to another time. But that's the last thing on the up to give. You can set up a personal cause so that you can make a difference. So I will be talking more about up to give it's a kind of a long video, but I just kind of wanted to bring you in a fold who I am, what the channel is about, how it's going to help you. You guys have any questions, shoot them in. If you, if you don't get a hold of me, I'm just a one-man show. So 
uh, just keep trying. You know, catch me on Facebook or send me a text on my phone. I mean, I really do put myself out there. Uh, my phone number is listed underneath the Zignali video. So, or you can go to my website and contact me through Instant Messenger on there or on Facebook. You just look for Colburn McWhorter. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Looks like it's about 25 minutes long. That's a pretty long video. Uh, it was nice to get outside and see the sun a little bit. Enjoy. I got a new lapel microphone. I'm um, also, let me know if you guys want, I'm sure you do. I'm going to do some videos about how to start up your own YouTube channel with some free software. So I'll show you guys how you can do screen captures and this and that. I mean, you can literally start your own business for free. So share all my videos with everybody you can because let's free as many people as we can. We all deserve it. All right, you have a blessed day. Guys, take care. Cole signing off. Remember, life is a game. And if you want to win the game, you better master the rules. And that's what we do here at barbwiredigitalaid.com. Take care.